I'm Tegan from Half Baked Harvest, and I'm really excited to be taking over the Random House Instagram stories today, answering lots of questions. Welcome to Colorado. Welcome to my kitchen. Hi, Erica. Hi, you guys. What am I cooking for dinner tonight? I just made a really, really good uh, black pepper Thai chicken that I'll be sharing very soon. Um, probably going to make something else. Miami, I'm so jealous. Okay, I should probably start answering these questions. If you guys have any questions, this is Tegan from Half Baked Harvest. Um, this is gonna be a lot of fun. I got a lot of questions. My beer, bread, something, they're coming in fast. Dough, shoot. Um, I can tell you that my editor's laughing at me right now because I can't read these quick enough. What have I been keeping sane? How am I keeping sane? Oh, thank you, Stephanie. That's one of the questions. You could just ask them for me. That'd be so nice. Um, what? Um, how am I keeping sane? I'm just working a lot. I'm doing a lot of cooking, a lot of working, a lot of interacting with you guys. Um, and a lot of baking. You guys, everyone is in a very, very big baking mood. So a lot of that. Are the baby goats here yet? Yes, didn't you see the stories? The baby goats are here. We have three little baby goats, you guys. They're adorable. They jump around. I need to get a video of them. I told, where's Asher? Um, I told her I was doing this live. She has yet to show up yet. My guess is she's getting all dressed up. That's probably what she's doing. So she'll come down and show me up. Um, hi, hi you guys. So yeah, to keep saying, I'm just kind of working a lot, um, which is not too different from what uh, I typically do. I love, I love to work. Um, what are you specializing in baking? Oh, a little bit of everything. I've really been doing uh, goat yoga. No, I've heard of that though, but um, I have not gotten into that. Um, what's your favorite vegetarian dish right now? Um, I have so many. Gosh, uh, I feel like I just shared one recently that was really good. Um, but I actually love the one, gosh, I don't know. I have so many. Don't ask me to, stuff like that. Hi from NYC. Um, but no, a vegetarian recipe. I got to think about this here. I have so many that I've shared recently. Um, I love my Thai ramen noodles that are vegetarian. I love all the cauliflower dishes. Oh, the cauliflower salad that I have that's roasted with chickpeas and avocado and so many herbs is probably my favorite thing. Um, I'm lacking the herbs right now, but we actually just started planting our herbs for the summer. So I'm really excited. They're uh, starting to plop up out of their little bins that we have them in. Why are the chewy brown butter chocolate chip cookies from HVH2? Uh, they're so good. If you guys haven't made the uh, brown butter chocolate chip cookies and you're looking for something to bake today, you know, I haven't made those ever on stories. Maybe that's what I should be doing today. Um, you should make those cookies. And if you guys haven't checked out Half Baked Harvest Super Simple, the cookbook, you definitely have to do that as well. There's tons of simple recipes in there. Lots of pantry staples, which is really great for this time. Tips for growing basil. I honestly don't have any. It's tricky and we're still learning. Um, give the plants lots of room to grow. So far, we, it's what we've like figured out. Um, do you have a list of kitchen essentials, pots, pans? I have a list of stove pots and pans that I love so much on the blog. Um, you can search that. You can go to halfbakedarvest.com and search. Um, just type in stove uh, skillets and it should pop right up for you. Um, but other than that, I'm very, very simple when it comes to my kitchen essentials. I have a stand mixer. I have a food processor. Really sharp knives and cutting boards is my go-to's. What's my favorite bread recipe? My beer bread? Duh. Um, no, seriously, my five-ingredient beer bread from the original half Day Harvest cookbook is insanely delicious. It's five ingredients. There's honey, there's butter, there's flour, there's no yeast. Um, so it's really good if you guys are not able to find yeast right now. Basil grows really well in the same pot as tomato plants. Very interesting. Why would that be? I don't know. Um, but that's a great little tip. Thanks. I'll give that a try. What cake recipe from either of your cookbooks should I make for my husband today? Well, you got to give me what kind of flavors he likes because I have a lot of cake recipes. Um, my gut is always to go with the chocolate first, but you never know what somebody likes. There's a carrot cake. There's a strawberry cake. There's lots of cakes. Um, and half baked harvest, super simple. You got to check them out. There's like really fun ones. What else you guys got? These are good. Um, does the pizza dough recipe need the beer? K 
Can you replace it? Yeah, you can just use regular water. You can use warm water. Um, the beer does add a really nice flavor, and because beer has like yeast in it in a way, it does help the dough um, really rise and get nice and airy, but you can certainly just use water, and then it's essentially a very traditional no-need bread dough. Uh, what else, guys? Let's see. Keep them coming. Do you work? No, I don't work for Random House. Um, oh, this is, if anybody, I'm Tegan from Half Baked Harvest, and I have a cookbook out, Half Baked Harvest Super Simple. It's very simple recipes, pantry staples. You guys should check it out. What should I do with the chicken in my fridge? Make the sheet pan lemon chicken that I shared last week with asparagus or whatever vegetable you have on hand. Lots of lemon, lots of garlic, all my favorite things. Um, and there's also potatoes and it's all made on one sheet pan. So definitely make that. Chocolate, okay, chocolate cake is really, really great. I have many, I have a chocolate cake recipe in Half Baked Harvest Super Simple that is like a, it's like a sheet cake and it's really fun and easy to make, delicious. Um, my cookbook published within Random House. It sure did. Uh, what's my favorite chef? Oh, I don't know. Um, have you ever tried gluten-free bread? Yes, and I have not had very much success. If you guys are looking for good, like, gluten-free, um, bread recipes, honestly, I, I don't know where you find them, but Pizzana in L.A., shares really good uh, uh, pizza dough recipes that they have a gluten-free one, so I would check that out. Do you, no, do I only make bread? No, I make a lot of things, you guys. If you check out halfbakedharvest.com or swipe over to my Instagram account, halfbakedharvest, you'll see lots of lots of different food, um, all different varieties. I like to switch it up. I get bored really easily, so I just switch it up. Um... Baker who has, I don't know what that says. What's your go-to happy hour drink during quarantine? You have so many good ones. I have a lot of good ones. I just shared a really fun one today. I'm sure you guys have seen the whipped coffee that is all over Instagram and TikTok. Um, I did a whipped coffee right Russian and it's very fun and I love coffee. So it's a decadent drink, but it's just really fun, something different. But my go-to personally would be the spicy cucumber margarita that I shared, um, I don't know, like a couple weeks ago or last week maybe even. Um, sometimes I, not sometimes, a lot of times I'll swap the cucumber for a fruit, like a mango or a mashed up berry. Very delicious. Um, Mayor lemons. Any recipes you can recommend with Meyer lemons? Um, I have so many recipes with Basically, any recipe that calls for lemon, you could swap that for. Um, but specifically, I have a really, really good uh, overnight waffle that, that uses the lemons in a whipped cream. Very good. You can Google it. It's on Half Baked Harvest. There's probably stuff in the cookbook, too. I'm just forgetting. I have a lot of recipes. Um, yeah, my Instagram is Half Baked Harvest. It's Half Baked Harvest. If you search it, it should hopefully come right up for you guys. When's my next cookbook coming out? Soon ish. <laughs> um, and do you have a good recipe for pizza? Yes, I have many recipes for pizza in Half Baked Harvest Super Simple, the cookbook. You can get it on Amazon, you can get it on Target right now, and they're doing two day shipping, and it's very quick. It's actually more reliable than Amazon. Um, what else we got here? Uh, how long does it typically take to go from manuscript to publish? A really long time. It's like a two year process very hard and um sometimes I want to pull my hair out but it's fun and it's worth it in the end some of it's not that much fun but it's worth it in the end um what's your favorite dish to cook um I'm really into Middle Eastern food right now and I'm making a bunch of like chicken kebabs soon and I'm very excited about that but I can't just choose one I also love to work with fruit, as anybody who follows me knows. Um, when did I start making Indian-inspired dishes? I don't know, from the get-go. Like I said, I really like to switch it up. Um, my brother has traveled a lot, so he's constantly giving me new ideas to try things. Um, so it's really fun for me, and I just get really, really bored very easily. So, from the start. 
Um, I really need easy recipes for quarantine. Check out Half Baked Harvest Super Simple. Check out halfbakedharvest.com. Check out my Instagram. I do basically every single night. I'll make a recipe with everyone. If I could cook one thing, come on, for the rest of my life, that's so unfair. Pizza or pasta, you can't make me choose between the two. Carbs. Always. Um, can't wait to try mango tonic with vodka. It's going to be good. What else? Um, do I specialize in cookery or baking? Uh, both. I do both. I don't, I wouldn't say I specialize in either, but that's okay. Uh, I love your recipe so much. Thank you. Um, I have a hard time deciding which ones to make. Sometimes I do too. Uh, they all sound amazing. Oh, thanks. That's such a sweet comment. What else we got? Um, which of your recipes do you recommend for a total beginner? Um, any of them? Most of them are really pretty easy. Any of the 20 minute Asian style recipes are really easy. Um, all the pizzas recipes are easy. Any pasta recipe, there's like a couple on there on the blog and in both in the cookbooks that are pretty simple. Um, I try to keep it really pretty simple and straightforward for everyone so that you're not, you know, in the kitchen not having fun because that's what it's all about is having fun. So I try to keep it pretty simple, use ingredients you have on hand. And what's my favorite dish to cook? Um, I have too many to choose just one. I love cooking a lot of different things. And I, like I said, I get bored really quickly. Um, so when I get bored, I switch it up. Pizza's the best. Uh, please share my, I know the, there's lots of Middle Eastern recipes on the blog. Uh, I'm sharing new ones this week. Um, and it's going to be good. Fall is my favorite season. You know that. Um, spring and winter. Uh, winter because spring here is horrible. It's like I said, it's spring right now and it's like snowing and cold and it's just not fun. Um, what's my favorite dried herb to keep in your, I keep all dried herbs in my pantry. You guys should keep your pantry stocked with dried herbs if you can. Um, herbs are the best. They can make or break a dish. So keep the herbs on hand, especially dried because they can replace fresh and they can change your recipes from being boring to really delicious. Um, what should I do with all of these beans? I know I heard a lot of you guys stocked up on the beans. Um, well, it depends what kind of beans you have. If you have black beans, I always go the Mexican route. So good. You could do like a cheesy skillet rice bake. That would be really delicious. We'd like some chipotle chili powder, onion, cilantro, lots of lime. That would be so good. If you have chickpeas, um, make the mushroom pasta that I shared the other week with crispy chickpeas. And I have lots of bean recipes. Check out the blog or check out the, check out the book. Basically, all of these answers are in one of the cookbooks or on the blog. Um, have I been to India? I've never been to India. Do you have a foolproof way to cook rice? Yes. Bring um, three cups of water to a boil, add one and a half cups of rice, turn the heat down to low, simmer it 10 minutes, turn the heat off, let it sit 10 to 15 more minutes, don't open the pot, fluff it with a fork. Perfect. <sighs> what am I currently reading? Sadly, I'm not reading anything. Um, not a lot of time for that. I bought sweet potatoes in a panic well, that's not a problem. Sweet potatoes are delicious. What should I make with them? Um, I have a tahini noodle bowl with honey caramelized sweet potatoes that is really healthy, really delicious, gluten-free, all the good things. Try that. Same with coconut milk. I have so many coconut milk recipes. I just used it 30 minutes ago. Um, you could search coconut milk on the blog. You could, there's a coconut milk curry in half baked harvest, super simple. There's multiple coconut milk recipes in half baked harvest, super simple. So again, check out one of the books or the blog. Um, your food is so good. Thank you. Uh, oh, sweet potato fries are really good. Hi, Nicole. <laughs> Uh, sweet potato fries are amazing. Yes, you could definitely do that with your sweet potatoes. Very delicious. Um, but I think, am I out of questions here, guys? Keep going. Anyone? Any questions? 
Uh, I can switch over to this. Sweet potatoes. What is the name of my blog? This is, I'm Tegan from Half Baked Harvest. My Instagram handle is um, Half Baked Harvest. You guys should check it out for easy recipes, always cooking, baking, doing all of the things. Anybody have any new questions? How do I cut sweet potatoes into fries? Um, take the sweet potato, lay it down, cut it into fourth inch, like thick, um, fourth inch thick, thick, like pieces of sweet potato. And then I thinly slice those. I can do an Instagram story on it sometime. How long can I keep cookie dough in my freezer for? I don't know, three to four months probably. I mean, I would hope that you use it before then. What is your worst book? I don't have a worst book. I don't know what that question means exactly. What time of day to cook? Favorite time of day to cook? Oh, um, I'm pretty much cooking all day long. So that's a hard question for me to answer. Um, but maybe in the morning, cause I'm very much a morning person and by the end of the day, I get tired, but you know. What recipes in your first book as easy as those in Half Page Harvest, super simple. P.S. Love your recipes. Um, the first book. Gosh, I gotta remember back to the first book. The beer bread's really easy. If you guys haven't made the beer bread, I know I sound like a broken record with this. You gotta make the beer bread, it's so good. Um, how do I get the right amount of parchment paper so your baked goods aren't floating out. I'm not really sure what that means. If you want to clarify, I can try to answer it if we can. What's your go-to simple but filling snack? Um, I'm always snacking on nuts. I love nuts. Um, oh, I'm kind of, I kind of like peanut butter. And, <laughs> peanut butter and apples. Is that lame? Uh, or cheese. Cheese. You got my go-to snack is cheese for sure. Um, right now I'm really into uh, manchego and prosciutto together. It's really good. I'm convinced, I'm convinced to use beer and bread. Great, do it. What kind of beer? Um, whatever beer you like to drink. Honestly, I just use whatever is in my kitchen at the time. So anything that you drink and you enjoy works really well, I always say. Whenever I put parchment paper, I can't get it to stay in the baking dish. Oh, that's easy. I have a really simple tip for that. So people, and people always ask me why my parchment paper is crinkled up. Well, I crinkle up my parchment paper before I put it on the baking sheet or in the bread pan and crinkling it sort of breaks it down a little bit and makes it a lot easier to fit to your pan. It kind of stays easier instead of it being, I don't know, it just works. So crinkle your paper and then do it. Uh, I'm about to make dinner and I have no idea what to make. I feel like we're just eating the same things right now. That's horrible. Go to Half Baked Harvest, the Instagram account. Just do a little scroll. You're gonna find lots of recipes that you enjoy. Pick up the Half Baked Harvest Super Simple Cookbook. Do you like burrata? I love burrata cheese so much. Um, I have some in my fridge. I stocked up, of course. Um, I don't know who Tyga is. Oh, like the Tiger King, the Netflix thing. I don't know, I haven't seen it. Is that what you're talking about? I haven't seen it, sorry. <laughs> Best brand of kitchen knives. Um, Zwelling, that's what I use. Um, go to plant-based recipes. I love plant-based re plant recipes, but I have five brothers and I feed them often and they don't, they don't dig that. Do you listen to music while you cook? Yes, or a podcast. Sometimes I listen to nothing though because I need to focus and I mess things up rather easily. Uh, don't have honey for the beer bread. Can it be replaced? Yes, you can use brown sugar, but I would only use like two tablespoons. Or I would use maple. That would be really good actually. If you have maple syrup without like added sugar in it, I would do that. Um, what else? Tips for keeping ingredients. From going bad, um, well, what ingredients specifically? Some, sometimes you just can't prevent it, but like if you're talking about herbs, uh, you can put a damp paper towel on them. You can put 
like a, you can get a paper towel damp and lay it on top of the herbs or greens for that matter. Um, it's not perfect, but it, it does help. A lot of times I will stick herbs in a little like mason jar with water and they kind of they actually like grow and that keeps your herbs fresh. Um, where do I purchase burrata from? Whole Foods doesn't have it, really? That's bizarre. Just tell them to carry it. Just ask your Whole Foods, just have, ask the people at Whole Foods to carry burrata and they should do it for you. But I also get mine, um, I have a Kroger grocery store here in Colorado and that's where I pick mine up. Trader Joe's also sells it. Um, most grocery stores, I believe, sell burrata. Best Dutch oven brand, Stove. I've heard of cabbage. Uh, you seriously, you have more cabbage. Um, cabbage. Cabbage is. <laughs> I would caramelize it in a skillet, and I would do something Asian with it. I would do a caramelized. I would do a stir fry. I would do caramelized cabbage with garlic, sesame seeds, ginger. If you have it, love ginger right now. Um, a little basil, and throw in whatever else you got. Do something like that. Have I been making? Oh, good. I'm really glad. I hope you've been. What's your favorite recipe that you've made so far? I'd love to know. Uh, no, then I don't know who Tyga is. Sorry. Um, you have a new cookbook out. Yes. Half Baked Harvest. Super simple. It's was out in October. It's a great cookbook. You guys should give it a try. Top five ingredients to always have on lockdown. Olive oil. Avocados? No, I can't answer. I hate these questions. That's too hard for me. Um, I guess my top five would be to create easy meals, rice as a grain, avocado, some kind of vegetable. I would do broccoli or Brussels sprouts. Those are my favorites. Um, and beans, if you love beans or some kind of protein. I, I lost track. Herbs and spices. That's it. Sorry, guys. I don't know. Um, great drinks too. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. How about broccoli? I love broccoli. I just used it today in my noodle dish, chicken dish, whatever. Um, broccoli, broccoli, something. I feel like I've only shot off Asian. So you could do like an Italian broccoli with like a little bit of maybe like a little bit of Parmesan lemon, like a lemon Parmesan broccoli. That sounds pretty good. I would do that. Um, I do a lot of hiking. I have really good jeans. Made the ravioli with breadcrumbs last night. Yay, it's so good, isn't it? Um, really easy too. Did you make homemade ravioli or did you use store-bought? That's the question. Yes, I just got my stove skillet. Yay, what are you gonna make first? They are my favorite, you guys. You should make a Dutch baby for Sunday morning breakfast. That's so good. Um, thinking about bu buying the Staub grill pan. I would recommend it. Do you think it's worth it or need anything or needed for anything? Yeah, I use mine all the time. Um, I don't, probably because of where I am, like I actually don't go outside and grill that much. I use my skillet most of the time. It's the best. Um, breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Breakfast for dinner? Sheet pan chicken, it's really good. I have lots of them. I have Middle Eastern ones. I just shared a lemon garlic one. Um, I even have Cuban ones. I got lots of options. Check it out. One of my favorite recipes that I use every other week for meal prep is the, I, that stew is really, I, surprised me how much that, people love that stew, the chickpea stew. Um, lots of herbs, really fresh. I'm glad you like it. Hello. All right. I've been doing this for a while, so I think I'm probably going to sign off here soon, you guys. Can you send me chocolate pop tarts you made? I wish. That would be great, wouldn't it? They're really good. Asher freaked out over those. Um, I love chocolate pop tarts. I know, they were the only ones that I would eat as a kid too. I didn't even mess around with the fruit ones or the brown sugar ones, but everyone's telling me that the brown sugar ones are awesome and I need to make them. So maybe that's my next project. They're not, uh, they sound pretty easy actually. I could probably do it. All right, guys, I'm going to sign off. This was so much fun. 
If you're not familiar with me, head over to Half Baked Harvest, the Instagram account. There's so many recipes. Definitely do Stobe over Lake Crusade. Sorry. Um, they're my favorite. Um, and yeah, this was really fun, you guys. Have a great Saturday and check out Half Baked Harvest. Make sure you pick up Half Baked Harvest Super Simple, the cookbook. And we'll see you soon.